Donna Freed grew up in White Plains, New York, the youngest of three children, with two loving parents. But there was an open secret that would change her. I was adopted, and it did come as a huge shock. And it wasn't that I was given up. For me, the wrench was that I wasn't my parents. The five of us, that was like my world. So that did create uh, a certain rift for me. Donna didn't talk about it until she was in her teens. I asked my mother, and she said, I know you know you were adopted through channels in the family, which makes us sound like the Corleones. <laughs> it was a little like that. My mother says it wasn't a secret. It was a secret. Donna loved her family the way it was, but always wondered about her biological parents. I just hadn't met anyone that actually looks like me. And so I saw the actress Judy Davis, and I thought, oh, great, you know, she looks like me. She could be my mother. And so I had my parents help me write a funny play about Judy Davis as my mother, an adoption fantasy. Then, in her early 40s, Donna lost her mother to lymphoma, and something stirred inside her. About 18 months after my mother died, my son asked me, do you have a picture of that other mother who couldn't take care of you? The question set Donna off on a long journey to search for her birth parents. And what she found was shocking. They have the biggest secret ever. It just explodes. Any secrets we ever had pales in comparison. Donna is here with us this morning. And this really is a remarkable story because once you found your last name, you did what pretty much anyone would do, you searched online, you Googled. Yes. What did you initially find? Well, I was given just bare bones information about my parents, so I had to sort of backtrack to find that last name. Um, and I did know that there was fraud involved, but when I put in the search terms, up pops, double indemnity woman, mm. Drowned woman comes back to life. <laughs> so the story was that my parents, my father was married with children and was having an affair with my mother. And they were very happy to be pregnant with me, which really changed something deep inside of me. Um, but they were going to run away to Spain together to raise me, and they didn't have any money. So in order to raise the money to do that, they faked her death by a drowning. For insurance money? The double indemnity insurance money for accidental death. So, yeah, it was, I was just blown away. So, so she faked her drowning? Yeah. And Off City Island in the Bronx. And then you found this out, but you still wanted to find her. And I know your father had passed away, but you went to find your mother. So what was that like when you... I mean, I... It's a, it's a salacious story. But there's people behind that. Mm -hmm. And just thinking, she actually was hiding out in my hometown. And I was just, we, coincidentally, and I just thought alone in a hotel room, you know, having put her parents through drowning, you know, her faking her death, that this must be, a, you know, a passionate woman. Of, and turns out she's funny and warm and intelligent. So and she, she didn't end up going to prison, or she did? No, she didn't end up going she to prison. However, my father had um, prior fraud charges mm -hmm. against him and did end up going to prison for about three years. Your birth parents were con artists. They were. Failed con not artists, failed. but so yes. what was that meeting like when you first found her? Did she want to meet you, too? Yes, yes. And um, it's where she's in a nursing home, and she's, you know, she's confined to, to bed. And Is this your mom? Yes. Your birth mom. Yeah. That was the, the day we first met. Wow. <laughs> and you said when you walked in, you saw the resemblance yes. to your son. I mean, what was that like? Well, I mean, seeing the, the pictures in the papers, because wow. it was really widely reported in the papers. I mean, it was like my cheekbones underneath her sunglasses. I mean, there wow. I was. Um, but in the sort of picture of my father being arrested, that's my son's face. Wow. So, and there we are sort of leapfrogging through the generations. It's just a really strange sensation because I'd never met anyone who looked like me. And so I just hopped in bed next to her because I didn't want to sort of interrogate her. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God, we have the same thumbs. Wow. <laughs> wow. It seemed important. Well, it's a story time, of but... forgiveness and, yeah. and you're still close, right? Yes, I saw her um, Saturday. Donna oh, yeah. Free. 
Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. It's an amazing story. Wow. Thank you, thank you. And we will be right back.